We are closing on our land today, finally, and it's been kind of anticlimactic because we wrote up the contract, I want to say maybe in September or something like that. It was a long time ago. It's January now. We The seller wanted to not do it until the new year, so we agreed to that. So today is the day that we're finally doing it. I just went and got the check from the bank, so it's a little freaky because it's a lot of money for the down payment, and it's just been kind of sitting there. So even though that's what it was earmarked for, it's still just kind of weird to finally write a big check and put it down on that. But in just a little while, I'm going to meet Rebecca and we're going to go sign some papers and that land's going to be ours. I drove over there a little while ago just to check on it, make sure nothing's changed. You know, with a house, you usually do a final walkthrough. So that's kind of what I did. I just drove over there, looked at the land, everything's the same. And um, we're going to have it soon. So why exactly am I nervous? I don't really know other than I kind of do this. We... Yeah, you know, Rebecca and I will come together. If you're new here, my name's Bruce and my wife, Rebecca, and I are building a house coming up very soon. We'll spend the time like pros and cons, make a decision. And then I'm really bad about having buyer's remorse. Later on, then I start questioning, did we make the right decision, this and that. And so I'm having all of those feelings uh, before we go to this closing. Plus it's a lot of money. Uh, we're putting down a little over $43,000 on this land. Uh, as a down payment. So it's just a lot of money. It's, uh, you know, we, we really want to be debt free desperately and uh, putting down a good amount helps us, you know, toward paying off this property. And um, all those are good things. And we already made this decision. So Rebecca always reminds me, we've already gone through all of this. We have made a wise decision. Now we just need to follow through with it. But uh, sometimes my nerves just get me. It, uh, I don't know, it's tough sometimes for me. All right, my little dude, we're headed to uh, sign some papers to get our land. I know you haven't been feeling well, but it's exciting. Yeah. We went out there and saw it earlier, didn't we? Yep. Look pretty cool? Yeah. All right. We're out here in my shop, my woodworking shop, and we just got back a little while ago from closing on our land. Exciting? Scary? Yeah. I called a couple of people and I was like, we're landowners again. Yeah, I mean, we own this house where it is, but now we have some raw land. We closed on the land a little while ago. Uh, I actually drove out there. I didn't tell you that. Uh, I drove out there today. Just drove by there, parked for a minute, looked at it, and kind of... I hadn't looked at it in probably a month. Mm -mm. I've driven by it more than you. I wanted to go by when it was snowing the other day just to kind of see. So now that we own it for sure, next time it snows, we'll probably take some sleds out there and go down the hills now that we own it, I'm going to go anytime I want. When we've made a decision and then that thing shows up, I often am like, oh, I have remorse for buying this and I want to send it back and I've changed my mind and all of that. You don't normally. Mm -mm. Why? I feel like we've already done all the pros and cons and we've already thought, well, do we want this or do we want that? And what are the costs and what are the, I don't know. Like we've gone through everything right. that we've we need to. We've been through all of the thinking and yeah, because so, we don't we don't make decisions flippantly. No, not they're not quick things, especially something like buying land. Mm -hmm. It's very expensive. I think that's probably what what makes me choke a little is how much it was. Mm -hmm. um, but to get the land that we wanted as close in proximity to things right. that we wanted, we wanted to have a decent amount of land, but not be crazy far out where we couldn't get you know, the internet that we wanted or, or you know, you be too far from somewhere you're going to work. Mm -hmm. Or to get to town. I don't want to say I'm going to town. And it's going to be half an hour. Right. Right. So that's, it's not quite the point we're at yet. We're, we don't want, I mean, I want it. I don't think you want it. I, I, don't, want, 20, I don't want that. I want 20 acres or <laughs> 60 acres that I'm just out away. No. I'd be happy on a city block, but there's compromise with anything. Right. So we've kind of compromised that this five acres is rural enough mm -hmm. that we're going to get plenty of space that we want. We're going to be able to build the house that we want. The backstory on this deal is we started trying to put a contract on this deal at the end of September. And it's been a while. They finally agreed to it early October, but then they didn't want to close until the new year. So now it's like second week in January. So it just feels kind of weird. We've kind of put that in the back of our minds and not worried much about it. 
And now that I went and got the cashier's check today and it's kind of bubbled up all this stuff for me to think, did we make the right decision? You know, maybe we need to think about this and that. <laughs> well, first of all, it's too late. Yeah. Like we made a commitment. We signed a contract. We put earnest money down and we said yeah. we were going to do this. And I think I might have had some of those feelings if I had been the one to go get the money out of the bank and get all of that done yeah. because I, I get very nervous. Yeah, like money. when you're holding so that check, it's kind of like, I don't want to let go of it. Right, so I can't say that I don't feel that way. I didn't have to do what he did. Well, I didn't you were have busy. To go. You didn't even have two seconds to think about it. You were at work. <laughs> so what are the next steps? Because I want to get excited about the next thing. I, I want to be looking toward what's happening next. I guess we've been kind of thumbing through house plans for a while. There are so many things that we've found that we like. We just have to rule out things that we don't want. Right. We, we want, but we can't have necessarily yeah and for us a lot of that is driven by practicality mm -hmm. so we're such practical people we want something to look nice but it can't be at the expense of it being livable or usable that type of thing so we're right. just going to keep doing that uh, we've got a list of things that are like for sure do's and don'ts of what we have to have or what we do not want we may put that in another video so if you're interested in seeing that leave a comment let us know and uh yeah we're i'm excited mm -hmm. you excited i am i'm ready to go walk it Maybe with graph the, paper. That's what? my next step. I need. I need to walk it with graph paper. With too. graph paper? No, graph paper. Oh, I need graph to like paper. Lay you it want? Out. You want a scale version? I do. I remember. Well, we the, have the plat. Yeah, it's different you can, though. You can put grid lines on it, and then we can go out there and. I'm such a geek. I remember with the first house, I made little rooms. Yeah. Out of graph paper that were the right dimension of our house, and like. It has a few um, surveyor markers on it. I want to put out some more. So we can see kind of more definitively. It has one at this corner and one an acre over. I kind of want to put a few in between just so that we can, I think it'll help us visualize where those borders are. Yeah. Bye. See ya.